From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings L with, with huge breaking news over this one hour broadcast about your stocks, your bonds, and your forced stimulus check update of 2022. Tonight, the one of the largest bankers in America confirms the same reporting I've been saying on this channel for over three months. A storm is out to sea. What does this mean for the US economy and your wallet? All the latest details on Jamie Dimon's comments from JP Morgan's Chase about that hurricane, that storm out to sea. The auto sales continue to plummet, and what does this mean for you? Today we have breaking news from Delta Airlines, and the airline industry may be doing the same mistake as the auto industry is doing. The latest details on that tonight. The housing market crash continues to erode, and that data came in today with more mortgage numbers showing buyers are not buying with a higher mortgage rate. What's the latest? I have it tonight on Evenings LA. The recessionary pressures continue to grow and continue to cause question marks. As what's at issue here is that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state, but Americans are waiting a little bit too long to get it. Tonight, I'm going to show you why the recessionary pressures of 90 days out and give you encouragement and push to get that money tonight. Because in 90 days from now, the stock market crash will be more abrupt. The housing market crash will be more robust. And the downward spiral of this economy in 90 days from now will be a lot more than you think it is right tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight, we'll be looking at what's going to be happening in 90 days to this economy. You're going to be shocked. In 90 days from this economy, what will be the status of the Build Back Better Act, the SS300, the inflation, the recession, the mortgage rates, the auto industry? You're going to see an industry that you don't even recognize. And in 90 days from now, that storm out to sea will be very close to land. I'll give you an indication tonight why you can't wait to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state and why back in the month of March I found it for you. And tonight, over this one hour, great broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California, I'm going to get you that check. That's what I do on this channel. I get people checks. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And stay with me because over this one hour broadcast, I'm going to get you those checks. Subscribe, become a member, and sit back for one of the biggest recordings you've seen this week. It's a live bra it's a major broadcast with a major announcement later in the recording stay the very end. It's America's most watched file show for financial news and it starts right now. Good evening. It's a major night tonight with a lot of breaking news for June 1st, 2022. And the story we lead with is this one. A storm is out to sea. I've been reporting for three months on this channel. And tonight, the head of one of the major banks in the United States says almost the exact same thing verbatim. His name is Jamie Dimon. And he said, as the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, that a storm is out to sea or a storm is down the road and the storm is about to hit. And the financial uncertainty of that hurricane storm or tornado, however you describe it, is looming. The comments from J.P. Morgan's head tonight mirror exactly what I've been reporting on this channel for three months. For three months, I said that out to sea is a major storm, and the storm is about to touch land later this year. You can feel the wind picking up as you stand on, on the edge of the, of the surf, and that storm out to sea is the looming downward spiral of the U.S. economy. That storm out to sea today is detailed in new comments by the CEO of the J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. You know, I said that there's storm clouds out there, but I'm not going to change it. It's a hurricane, says Diamond. In a new financial conference held today in New York, while conditions seem fine, no one understands that there's a terrible hurricane. It could be a minor one or a super storm Sandy, says Diamond tonight. You better brace yourself, says Diamond. J.P. Morgan is bracing ourselves, and we're going to be very conservative with our balance sheet. Right now, things look sort of sunny and everything looks fine, but the Fed and people thinking the Fed can handle it, but the hurricane's right out there down the road and coming our way. Thank you for watching the show, Jamie. <laughs> His comments literally sound like mine verbatim, except it's, uh, the storm's out to sea, it's down the road. What does this mean for you? This means for you that you need to get every single Force Tim Oshak, I have for you later in this recording. Because the changing, evolving situation of this U.S. economy in the next 90 days 
is very, very serious. And for the first time ever on Evening's Highlight, in the special one-hour broadcast tonight, we're going to go over where this economy will be in the next 90 days, my predictions. And we'll see if my predictions are correct in the next 90 days. A storm is out to see a hurricanes down the road. Same analysis, same words. And the prediction is that situation will get very bad before it gets better. And the data at issue is all your money. What do you need to do? Step one is to subscribe to this channel. Step two is to become a member. And step three is to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Because you can't risk the situation. There's a storm out to sea and you need that insurance. If that storm hits land, how do you get that insurance? You get that four symbol check in every U.S. state. In this recording, we're going to go over those four symbol checks in every U.S. state. How do you get them? What's at issue? And it all starts with subscribing, becoming a member, and staying later in this video and getting those big checks. What will happen in the next 90 days? Tonight I'm going to go over where the situation will turn on all of those other issues at hand. Number one, the Build Back Better Act. Will the Build Back Better Act get you a check in your hand in 90 days from now? We start tonight for June 1st, 2022. So could Build Back Better Act get you checks in your hand on top of the four symbol checks, which I have already for you in your hand coming up later in this recording? Could the Build Back Better Act get that done July, August, by September 1st? Well, it has to. It has to. Because the Democrats are trying to win that midterm elections. And to continue control of that Senate, the Democrats have to get you that check in your hand by September. That's 90 days away. That 90 days away means they need to get it to a vote quickly. How quickly? Well, if you've been with this channel since 2020, you understand the notion of what happens in July. A lot of senators go on vacation in July and August. So don't think they can leave this to late August because if they got that check out in September, you may get the check after you vote. That is too much risk for Joe Biden and the Democrats. They need to get those checks out before they take a vacation in August. If they don't, they're going to win. They're going to lose the midterm elections. The check will come late. What's an issue is lots of checks in the Build Back Better Act. That's the first part of the equation. The second part of the equation is the SS300. Could the SS300 be done in the next 90 days? It needs to be done in the next 90 days. Why? I'm predicting the following rate hikes from Jay Powell in the next 90 days. 50 basis point in the month of June, 50 basis point in the month of July, and quarter basis point in the month of August. By the month of August, the 8% inflation you're feeling in this U.S. economy is likely to be much lower 6%. It ain't going to be lower than that, but it ain't going to be 8%. 8% is $200 more per month on top of your existing benefits. That is why Joe Biden needs to make that swap and cold to inflation in the next 90 days. If inflation does track lower and my predictions on that Federal Reserve rate hikes are on point. What else is going to happen in the next 90 days? The next 90 days will, you're ready for this one? I don't want to scare you. But in the next 90 days, your price of gasoline at the pump could go to ten dollars a gallon at the pump. What's happening tonight? The happening, the situation tonight is that the price of gasoline is out of control, and while there is a storm out to sea, the other issue at hand is, of course, the evolving price of the gasoline. Ten dollars a gallon. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. And at one hundred and eighty-five dollars a gallon, international Brent crude. Is this really 90 days out? It could potentially be 30 days out. Let me go over the details tonight on the scare of this gasoline prices to $10 a gallon at the pump. It all stems from a series of events that have happened in less than seven days. Seven days ago, I told you that we we're hovering about $115 international Brent crew, not $185, and that we're averaging about $4 at the pump, U.S. domestic unleaded. Then I told you I had two issues at hand. One, a potential deal with the Western allies to ban Russian oil. And then two, the Chinese coming off of lockdown. I said the Chinese coming off of lockdown would bring the price of international brand crude to 125 Not 185 but 125 But what happened before that? Last Friday, it went to 120 right away, without China yet off of lockdown. Why did it surge out of control? It surged out of control because the Western allies banned Russian oil. The European Commission met last Sunday as broke on the shell first last Friday, and they banned Russian oil. Every country except Hungary, chuckles, uh, Hungary, uh, the Slovakian country, and also um, the Czech Republic. That news, when they banned that Russian oil, surged the price of Brent crude dramatically. Brent crude went to 125 on Sunday, went to 125 on Monday. 
what happened shortly after that news. What happened after that news was analysts started coming out and saying, you know what, just on the news of those Western allies, we're reassessing the situation of the oil, and we're putting it at 185. JP Morgan, before China came off of lockdown today, announced this price of gasoline could surge to 185. Out of control? Absolutely out of control. And we're not still done there yet. <laughs> China's coming off of lockdown. China's coming off of lockdown today, and they will increase consumption, increase shortage, and increase the price. How fast could we be at 185? Well, that was JP Morgan's comments, 185. Then today, Diamond spoke and said 175 to 180 is also possible across the board. These surging numbers are being caused by another factor tonight, and boy, is it a big one tonight. Tonight, folks, one of the major producers of gasoline says they won't be buying any Russian oil. This is a complicated situation. And who is it from? OPEC+. Plus. OPEC+, Plus, which was contributing to the situation of the shortage of gasoline, says it will not buy the Russian oil if a potential deal in the works happens. What's at issue? OPEC Plus involves a lot of the major gas-producing countries. And if they ban Russian oil like the Western allies, there'll be more shortage of oil. How much shortage are we talking about here, folks? Many analysts put it at 3.5 million barrels of gasoline from Russian oil is now out of circulation. And then, back in April, I told you that OPEC Plus had reduced its production, its own production, at 1 million barrels a day. That's 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing per day. And let's put it anywhere from 2.5 to 3.5 million barrels missing per day. If OPEC Plus bans Russian oil as well, how high are we going to go? 185, you bet your dollar. And that is why no one can afford $10 a gallon at the pump and no one else can afford the other situation at hand. Back in the month of March, as soon as, uh, as, soon as Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, what did I say at the time? There's two problems with Putin's evasion of Ukraine. One is the potential bear market, and one is the price and, and its price of gasoline. The other pro problem is the wheat and grain. And this is what Jamie Dimon today said when discussing the situation of that storm out to sea. When discussing that storm out to sea, what did Jamie Dimon said? We have a commodity problem. And that commodity problem is food. Diamond says he's worried about the Ukrainian war and its impact on commodities, including food and oil. And almost his oil has almost gone to, up to the price of disruption that we saw uh, caused by conflict we haven't seen since World War II. But Diamond's worried that the price disruption from wheat and grain is still not done yet. That's what I've been reporting as well since the month of March. The wheat disruption caused by that Putin invasion of Ukraine is perhaps still not as high as it could potentially go. How high could it go? A lot higher. You don't want to afford, you don't want to pay for $7 a loaf of bread at the supermarket. Well, we've never had a QT like this, says Jamie Dimon, when referring to the Federal Reserve's bond, bond, emergency bond buying program and shrinking its balance sheet to QT or quantitative tightening. We've never had anything like this. So when you look at for the history books, you're never going to have this anything happening as well. And it could backfire and it could be a huge mistake. Wars go bad and they go south in unintended consequences. We're not going to take proper actions to protect Europe from what's going on in the oil short run. What else could be happening? There could be a huge flood of flow of funds in and out like we never saw before. This is a very fluid situation tonight. The fluid situation tonight, folks, is 90 days out from now. It could be a lot worse than you see it today. It's a lot worse, the potential horizon. And with the price of oil definitely going up, the price of wheat and grain definitely going up. The corporate earnings definitely going to be hurting. The cost expenditures to run a business definitely going to be hurting. Where is the good news in the next 90 days? Is there any good news in the next 90 days? It potentially would be, of course, a Build Back Better Act deal. But other than that, there is nothing on the economic horizon that signals anything good happening. Is there a deal to get oil replacement from Venezuela or Brazil or Iran? No, there is no deal in the works. Is there a place to get that replacement for the wheat and grain to supplement the Western allies? No, there's no deal. And with no deal on any of those fronts, then the question mark is, then what? What happens to our U.S. economy if we don't have anything lined up? Tonight, we learned a little bit about that when we saw the data that came in 
from Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines signaled that much like the housing bubble that is going to cause the housing crisis a crash of 2022, the auto industry, the housing, and also the airlines are all doing the same three things. And that same item, that same pivot may implode in front of them. What do we learn tonight from Delta? Delta Airlines indicated that the demand to travel is really good. The best demand they've seen since pre-pandemic. Great on that front. That's revenue up. So then what about on the net profits? Net profits are not particularly that good. Why? They had to increase the price of the ticket, almost 200% up, because of increased fuel prices. Did the buyer still buy? The buyer still bought the higher price of that airline ticket for Memorial Day weekend. But will the airline consumer buy a double the price ticket for July 4th weekend, for Labor Day weekend, for Thanksgiving weekend? No, they will not. That's what analysts tonight are saying, and that is why all the airline stocks are down. People want that destination because they've been on lockdown for two years, but they're not going to pay. Tonight, the average price of an airline ticket in the United States is nearly $450. No one is going to pay that price time and time again, holiday after holiday. And that is what's happening with the house. And that is what's happening with the airline industry. They could absorb the cost. They could certainly absorb the cost and not increase the price to you. And they would have the demand there and they could increase their flight routes. They did not. And that is why people are training down the airline industry tonight. But we're not done there yet because the other industry that's doing the same pivot incorrectly is the housing industry. The housing industry tonight is increasing the prices of the homes to levels no one has ever seen, up 20%. But today we learned a little bit more about why that doesn't work. That data came in from the mortgage industry today and it showed that the number of homes that went into mortgage for the month of April was dramatically down again. People are not going to pay more for a home than they did a year ago, and they won't be able to because they can't afford the mortgage. Do you think the housing builder, the home builders got it right? No, they didn't. And they just keep on increasing the price, and then the consumer doesn't show up. Who else is doing that same incorrect pivot? The same incorrect pivot is happening also in the auto industry tonight. As the auto industry is increasing the price of the cars on the lot, astronomically trying to get a profit level not of two thousand dollars last year that is the nationwide average for many many years but now upwards of five thousand one hundred dollars a car the auto industry thinks they can get you for five thousand dollar profit a car by putting less cars on the lot did it work it did not that's why auto sales are down 24 percent that is why housing is down 17 percent that is why the airlines will be down in the third quarter as well, as no one is paying these prices and the price of gasoline surging out of control. Yeah, this is why that situation, that storm out to sea is so apparent right now. It's apparent on two fronts. Why? Because we have certain industries who are not pivoting correctly, not modifying their behavior or their price structure, just sticking you, the consumer, with a higher price point. You're saying, no, I'm not going to pay the higher price point. And then those industries are downturning quickly. Are they pivoting and changing the price point? They are not. And then guess what happens? Suddenly, industry after industry starts to struggle. And that start to struggle starts to expand. That's a bubble-like environment. That's what spirals an economy downward. That's what we call on this channel a need for a forced stimulus check. The need for a forced stimulus check is needed right tonight because the situation is turning so quickly, so fast in this economy and in 90 days from now, you will not see the same economy you're seeing tonight is what my prediction is across the board. What's at issue? Housing market crash going to be more amplified. Stock market crash going to be more amplified. We're only down 20%. The stocks will go down 47.8% in a what? Recession. Yes. And that is why you need to get every four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Do you see what I do on this channel? I give you the guidance of where the economy is. And then I give you the importance of understanding where we're heading, and then I actually get you the checks. I actually get you the checks. It's important to know where you are as an economy tonight. It's important to know where the economy is going in 90 days from now. And it's also important to grab every single check that's available. That's what I do for the viewers of this channel. It's coming up late in this video. Later in this video, viewers, since the month of March, it said, LA, find me a forced check. I did.
found them, lots of them, in every U.S. state. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over how you can get those four stimulus checks. Big checks. Single, married, with children, without children. You all qualify. One very kind viewer in the live chat two nights ago, Kat, said, L.A., no one does eligibility better than you. And that's what's important. Because I want to make sure that you, as a viewer, get a four stimulus check now. Lots of it. Lots of money. Not $600. Upwards of 85000 because the situation 90 days out from now, at best, you could say it's uncertain. At worst, you could say it's carnage, as Silicon Valley said two days ago. At worst, you could say it's a hurricane out to sea. It's about to touch land, as I and Jamie Dimon are saying much the same. Touching on land, coming down the road, hurricane, tornado, it's the same exact words. Just one guy on the West Coast saying it, and the head of one of the major, biggest banks in the, in the globe saying it as well today. That is why you have to get every check that's available because if Jay, Jay Powell doesn't get it right and his confidence is no longer there among the electorate and the, and the consumer and the financial markets, then bear market is the least of your concerns. The least of your concerns. The downward spiral in this economy 90 days out from now could be so severe that how home builders who thought they could stick you with a higher price point are going to get eaten alive. Auto salesmen who thought they could stick you with a higher price point on a car of $5,000 profits will go to destruction. And then those airlines that think they can take an airline ticket that was $250 last year and charge you $600 this year, saying we have less pilots? No, 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 no. This is where you're going to see things change very quickly and very dramatically for the downturn. That's why I have to get a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. via the YouTube alert system. You know what this feels like? This feels like the first week of December 2021 and the first week of December 2020. They were very similar to weeks. Both of those weeks, we were waiting for something to come. In December 2020, we were waiting for a second stimulus package between Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi. It wasn't coming. You said it's the holidays. The heating oil is going up a lot. The price of my bills is going up a lot. Get me a check, Ally. I got viewers a check. $250,000 I got to collectively, the entire viewership of the channel. It's not a lot of money because it wasn't a lot of money at the time. But in December 2021, I show viewers how to get another round of third stimulus and we called it the Santa stimulus. So people really said thank you. That really helped alleviate their financial pressures during those winter months. When you have big bills, you have heating oil, it's June. It's June now. And it's not cold outside. So you don't have the heating bills yet. You don't have those monster bills yet. But guess what? As soon as the weather turns to the cool, to the cold, those bills go up. And when does it happen? Yeah, it starts about 90 plus days from now. That's why you have to get these big checks. Starting the month of March, viewers said, LA, can you go find us me a four symbol check? And I looked high and low and I found it. And these are checks for you. And the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these big checks one at a time. These big checks you need to grab right now because you qualify for them. These are monster checks. And there, if there is a storm really out to sea, you need to have that financial security blanket checks lots of cash as one viewer said in the live chat this morning who cares what it's called so long as it's a lot of cash cash is king and the more cash i can get you on this channel the better you are it's coming up in the second half of this video step one subscribe step two become a member and step three get that incredible newsletter monday through friday that has the links to apply and get these big four stimulus checks that's coming up in the second half of this video but let's turn over for just a second to what happened with that student loan debt forgiveness and also the comments from uh, Jan Yellen today. The President of the United States met uh, Jay Powell in the Oval Office yesterday. <laughs> and surprisingly, there was very few photos, if any, of Jay Powell with the President. There was no press conference. There was very few comments, if any. It was very hard to find them. And today, Jan Yellen, uh, unfortunately, had to take the burden of what happened. She was asked what happened with those meeting with Jay Powell yesterday, because we didn't really hear anything. And she said, I made a mistake. Uh, we made a mistake in the White House. We said that inflation was going to be temporary, transitory. It was not. And we think that um, the Federal Reserve will be able to get it under control. Of course, she was formerly at the Federal Reserve. The question mark is how? And she gave really no guidance on the subject matter. 
The other part of the equation is the president's sort of pivot across many multiple issues economically at the same time, but really not being laser focused on one. Janet Yellen spoke today about, guess what, the Build Back Better Act as a way to solve inflation. Does it solve inflation? Uh, not really. It alleviates the pressure of inflation. She basically stalked about a lot of the provisions we talk about the Build Back Better Act. $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. She spoke about that. She spoke about that. And she said, if you have that, you can deal with inflation. Uh, yeah, not really, but it helps you deal with inflation. She spoke about uh, dental, vision, and hearing, which are all that third cluster. Does that help you deal with inflation? Well, it alleviates some of your bills. So I guess that's her point in saying it. But did she really say, let's get it done? No, she did not say, it, let's get it done. She did not come out and just cheer on the Build Back Better Act, nor did the president come out and cheer on the Build Back Better Act. And the president's lack of really being laser focused on one issue, getting it done and moving on to another, has been really the problem of the last three days. The president invited last week individuals to the White House to discuss the seven stimulus, the student loan debt forgiveness. And he knew what was going to happen. I mean, I reported what was going to happen. I reported what was going to happen before it happened. And guess what happened? It happened. <laughs> it happened. He knew that he was going to say $10,000, which is, you've been saying, is the offer for student loan debt forgiveness since day one. He knew he was going to say $10,000, and they were going to be unhappy. And then they were going to say 50000 and he was going to come back and say no, and he was going to repeat the, the request for, for 1000 And he knew it was not going to work. So what happened? He just went with exactly what I said he should not do, and that's what happened. The President of the United States met advocates for student loan debt forgiveness last week, and he said $10,000, again, for the 11,000th time. They said 50000 He said no. He said 10000 They said no. And then guess what? <laughs> You can't play this game indefinitely, Joe. They ran to press and trashed him and said, how dare him offer us 10000 Joe, if you don't have a group of people that like what you do, just do what you want to do and move on. Just move on. The president had a $10,000 offer. Day one of the administration, she should have done the $10,000 and moved on. These people want 50000 he doesn't want to do 50000 I'm not going to debate which is the correct number for purposes of this video. I'm just saying his position is 10. Do the 10, move on, do another thing like SS300. Rather, he just sort of belabors the point. And guess what? It's still not done. It just keeps on percolating in a bad way. This is how the White House's administration under Ron Klain is really not addressing when things are not done right. When you do not have a support on a situation, just move on and get on to the next subject matter. And that is what happened with that $10,000. The offer was $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 or less, your debts could be forgiven, and married couple, $300,000 or less, your debts could be forgiven. But it's just an offer, and it's not a deal, and yes, what's going to happen next week? They're going to be running their mouths, upset about what the president's offer. The bear market upon us is really just starting. The downward spiral of the U.S. economy is the most exemplary uh, situation of a bad situation getting worse. And that is why you need a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over these forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Here's what you need to know. Number one, you qualify for it. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. <laughs> Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? It's coming up in the second half of this video. I deeply care about you. I deeply care about you. And so you see how some videos, sometimes I really ramp up the fire underneath your feet, telling you really how severe it's going to be in 90 days from now. That's a lot of tough love I'm giving you because I'm saying, hey, do not sit around. Do not go to uh, the casino for three months. <laughs> do not go to the casino for three months and come back in three months and say, what I miss? Oh, I need money now. Uh, it's all gone. It's being up. I don't know if it's going to be around in three months. Hopefully it still is. But you can't wait till the storm hits. This is sort of like the viewer who waits to get money for rent after they're evicted. You get the money for rent before you're evicted. This is like the viewer who waits to get the money for utilities after the light electric is turned off. You get the money for the electric before, while the electric is turned on. You don't wait till the last second. And this is why I'm telling you the last second will be very more severe in 90 days than it is right now. 
So with that, in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. They're huge checks. And step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter, Monday through Friday. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Evening's Ally continues, also with a big announcement coming up later in this video. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And time to continue right now in a big second half of Evening's LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Tonight, how are you? A big four symbols check is landed in every U.S. state. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over this incredible check. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over this huge check. And then we'll be talking back on that economic data and why the situation is so fluid. But first, let's start with that four symbols check in every U.S. state. <laughs> step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. What are you watching here? Let's understand what you're watching to understand this ain't anything you're going to see anywhere else. LA is number now one of the number three most watched financial news channels in America. And Evening's LA is the number one most watched show financial news show in prime time in America. What we deliver on this channel is very and different, very, very unusual, and very, very off uh, cutting edge. First, I deliver you what the situation is on the economy right tonight. I give you guidance on where the economy is going, and then I actually get you checks. It's different than reporting the news of checks. I actually get you the checks. I search high and low to find you stimulus checks that no one else has. Then I deliver you the news of how to do it, how to get it. And then as a family and as a team, we get it together and we encourage one another to go get these checks. It's un anything like, it's nothing like anything you see in the American landscape of broadcasting today. And we've been doing this for over two years. $15 million gotten by viewers from this channel. It's important to understand where we are tonight based upon the events of March. Back in February, I was telling the, the viewers of this channel, we're going to recession for two years starting next year. I told the viewers a lot of deep financial projections in February. And viewers by March said, Ali, I see what you're saying. Uh, the Bill by Better Act is not happening just yet. Can you go get us a forced stimulus check? And I looked high and low and I found it. Viewers of this channel who are members of this channel understand that stimulus can come to you a lot of different ways. One way is by Act of Congress, but there are other ways. Executive order, yes. States, yes. Counties, yes. Cities, yes. Nonprofits, yes. There's a lot of other ways to get stimulus in your hand. And that is where I found you, these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. So let's go over all this incredible sums of money. First, let's go over eligibility. You, as a wonderful viewer, Kat, in the live chat two nights ago said, LA, you do eligibility more than anyone else. Absolutely. Because it's very important to know that I'm getting this for money, this money for my viewers, that you are qualifying, that you are eligible for this money. Otherwise, why even make the recording? Single individual, 75000 or less. Married couple, 150000 or less. If you rent, if you own. If you have children, if you don't have children. If you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits. SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, and more. And these are not 
small checks. They're upwards of $80,000. We have a lettering system I created on this channel to make them simple for you one at a time. Let's go over each of those checks and get you some checks starting right now. That first check is check A. It is wonderful. I was going to say it's a monster, but I think check B is the monster. Check A is wonderful. $6,500 to $12,000. A four symbol check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. <laughs> How do you get it, Ally? Very simple. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. The membership link is under the video. The subscribe link is under the video. When you become a paid member, you get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. In that membership newsletter, I put in there all the information about how to get the checks. No one takes any of the time and effort anywhere in American broadcasting news today to put together all the detail for you and deliver to you in a concise, simple way. As Carol said, a longtime viewer, LA, you make it so straightforward. All people have to do is just push a button. It really is that case. In the case of check A, you go right into that membership newsletter down to check A. There's a link. You click the link. You apply. You're done. How simple is that? It's very, very straightforward. Very, very straightforward. Check B is your next check. You're going to do the same thing with check B. This is the monster check. Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. My goodness, that's a lot of money. Sixty-six thousand to eighty thousand dollars. It's a fourth symbol check in every U.S. state. Single individual, seventy-five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. It's called the homeowner's grant check. And how do you get that check? B. It is huge. You go into the membership newsletter. Go down past check A to you find check B. And there it is. Click the link and you apply. So simple. Very very simple. And there is check A and check B. But you're not done there yet. You're going to go get check C. That is also in the membership newsletter. And check C is for my renters and homeowners. You go right down that membership newsletter till you find check C. And there it is. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It actually tells you the different places to call. You're going to make a lot of phone calls, at least 15 of them. And what to say and how to say it and where to say it. That is the wonderful check C. Check C is a check that was covered early in this video. Why? Because this is the continuation of those wonderful checks of December 2020. Viewers of this channel in December 2020, when this channel was really small and there was very little stimulus out there, said, I need stimulus. It's December 2020. It's a thick of the pandemic. Uh, it's cold outside. I don't have heating oil. I don't, can't pay my, my electric bills, my, my utility bill. What can you get me? And I looked high and low, and I found people money. And that became what I call purple. But the best thing that could ever happen to you as a viewer was what happened in December 2020. By accident, I found a piece of legislation leaked that I said, if this becomes law, it's the same thing we're getting right now for purple, but it's a lot more money of it. And I said, I'm going to call it third stimulus. It became law. And viewers had learned the skill set. I talk a lot about skill set on this channel. You develop skills from watching this channel. That skill was involving picking up the phone and asking for rent and utilities and mortgages and similar from Check C. A lot of viewers before this channel even started were not used to picking up the phone and calling. And you did it. And boy, did you do a great job. I said your viewers are going to get about 15000 They got on average $45,000. That became third stimulus. Tonight it's Check C. And the history of the viewership of this channel getting monster sums of money from Check C is nearly almost two years old. $20,000 to $27,000 for rent. Look at these astronomical sums of money. That is what you can do as well. Look at those utilities. We're not talking about a few hundred dollars here. Mark's brother in law got $15,000. What about Snap? That's one of the real legacies of this channel. Where else can you say that someone got some family? A quarter million dollars over the next 10 years. I did. I got Mark's brother-in-law $25,000 a year over the next 10 years. That's a quarter million dollars. What about Nisi? Where else can you say that someone's inspiring someone to keep on picking up the phone every few weeks to get more money? That's what's happening with this channel and Nisi. She hears me. She started with 23. She keeps on going back and getting another eight, 7000 every few weeks. She's at over 50000 I told Mark, I, call, I spoke to Mark directly on camera at the time. I said, Mark, get more money, and he got more money. He went from this graphic, 32000 
to this graphic, 50,000, then went from 50 to 100,000, then got check B at 166. Lorraine, the same thing. She went from 105 to 122. That is why this channel and you work so well. As a team, I inspire you. As viewers, you inspire one another. I learned this from you, day one of this channel, when millions of Americans had watched this channel the very first days, and they said, you know what, I applied for that EID loan and grant, and I just gave up. I never got the money. But then you started pressing record and saying, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, do it, do it. And you were motivating me. Pick up the phone, call, call, call. And that's where the success started, the very first days of this channel. Now you, as a viewer, as a member in the live chat, make sure you do that every day. You encourage other people. If someone's in the live chat and you got $100 from the electric company yesterday from Check C, post a live chat. I don't care if it's $20. Post it. And then when you see the person post it, congratulate that person. Encourage other people to do the same thing. It is a collective spirit of encouragement. That encouragement, that motivation is infectious. We all know it's going to be bad in this economy in 90 days from now. We all know how bad it's going to be. But together as a loving family where we support and encourage one another to overcome adversity together by pushing and advocating and pouncing as a purple hawk and getting every penny we can together, we do it. We do it so well. So with that, step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member of the fastest growing community there is, the Purple Power community. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The link is under the video. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, hit that bell on the front of this channel where it says alerts. Make sure you have your alerts set to all on because you don't want to miss a force of most check that when it's announced, it'll be featured on this channel right away. Then... Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the YouTube alert comes out for the new newsletter. That newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, is sent out with a YouTube alert. It says, new LA post. It says, first line newsletter. Then you click the link, and it goes right into the YouTube post. That's the newsletter. Go get it. And get that check A applied, check B applied, check C applied. And, oh, there's a check D. It's also in the newsletter. Check D is in 24 plus states. The U.S. economy right now could be more states. And that is the residue of third stimulus that states have the money. Yeah, you heard it early in this recording. The president can do stimulus by executive order. He has. The states can do four stimulus checks by executive order or by state stimulus. They have. And that's what's in the membership newsletter. Go down in there and get those incredible checks across the board. Finally, where is this economy going, and why is it so important to know where we are and where we're heading? Storm is out to sea, storm is on land. Same words, different people, different parts of the country, saying basically the same thing. J.P. Morgan, Chase, CEO, Jamie Dimon, LLH, same version of the same words. The prediction is that situation will be very uncertain in 90 days from now. Auto sales. The auto industry will look much more worse in 90 days from now. All housing sales. Mortgage rates have already been hitting for several weeks, but the data hasn't come in just as bluntly as it can. That data will come in 90 days from now, and the housing industry dramatically down. And the price of gasoline, you think $7 is unsustainable. You think $6 is unsustainable. What about $10 a gallon? Something's going to happen, and that's something, of course, is recession. But before we're in a recession, we'll kind of have a lot more crashes across the board. And when people think they can just indefinitely spend and spend and spend, and airlines think they can just charge and charge and charge, then that is where you go into a downward spiraling of false narratives. Bear market is just the downward spiral among it. Dip, not a dip, it's a crash. It's a readjustment. And that is why you can't wait to get the force to most check in every U.S. state. You need to become a member. You need to subscribe. Because in 90 days from now, the U.S. economy is not going to be this economy. It's going to be a whole different economy. Remember, in 90 days from now, we're going to have three j Powell meetings of the Federal Reserve. Those three meetings are going to have interest rate spikes. Your credit card debt's going to be higher. Your car loan payments are going to be higher. Everything is going to be a lot different in 90 days from now. That's why you can't wait. The programming continues throughout the night with evenings L8 every night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Then at 6 o'clock, countdown, 7 o'clock, strange stimulus, 8 o'clock, extra, 9 o'clock, sunset. And then we return every morning, early mornings to L8 at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, of course. 
7 a.m. mornings countdown and 8, 9 o'clock mornings are like followed by 11 o'clock noon. But could you be seeing something bigger and bolder? Absolutely. What's also happening in 90 days? In 90 days, you're going to see a whole different look to this channel and you're going to be very, very surprised what's happening. So I appreciate all your patronage over the last two years. And in the next 90 days, get ready for another ride because we're going to have something totally surprise that you are going to love. Something that you've been really asking for for a very long time and it's coming to this channel at the same time in which the economy is going to get very, very volatile. Very, very volatile and you're going to need that sanctity. You're going to need that update. You're going to need that news breaking 24-7. You're going to need the latest elements of the financial markets delivered to you as quickly as possible. One kid on the West Coast in a purple shirt told you that we're going to have 8% inflation in December 2021 and it was going to be not transitory. Today, Janet Yellen said she made a mistake. It was not going to be transitory, and it was not going to be as low as the inflationary rate that she initially said. It's that type of analysis you want to see here before someone at J.P. Morgan Chase says it three months later. It's some type of analysis like that that you want to hear before it hits so you can prepare accordingly. And the continuation of the news is all throughout the night. I look forward to seeing you for the rest of the evening. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless, and stay with Ally for more.